Hey, welcome back to our two directions of course. <laughs> I'm Rick. I wanted uh, the intro to be as <laughs> long as some of LJP's uh, still shot, shots. Yes. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. We just did that. Did we? We did. I was asleep. I'm Me a different too. person now. Yep. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juice. Did I say that too? Nope. No? Well, you did just now. Just now. That was the first time. What about then? You Well, you've done it before. What? Just not now. Oh, my goodness. Was that you? Because it may have been somebody else. Maybe. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> Which is why we are in a very poorly lit, yes. weird place right now. We enjoy spending our Saturday nights sitting in a car in poorly lit places. With microphones. Yeah. And cameras. People love us. Today we are doing a movie review of the new 2023 film. Brand new. Nan Bakala Narathu Mayakalam. Not not bad. You added a la at the last part, but other than that, it wasn't really Corbinized. Well, I said it in Tamil. Yeah. Oh, did you? Well. <laughs> then how would you say that? Uh Nan Pakal Narathu Mayakam. Uh directed by our however you say dost in Malayalam, yes. I apologize for forgetting. LJP is our that. Uh, and he also wrote the story for yep. this. Yep. And it was produced and starring uh, the superstar, or I don't know his moniker. Right. Um, what is it? The what legend Mamoudi. And uh, a big ensemble cast, but this is a Mamoudi film. He is the starer, and the other star is LJP. Yeah, and shocker, if you know this director, there's a lot of people in the. Cast. Yeah, it's an ensemble cast. He, he, it's kind of, but, a, but it is. It he is. Mamoudi is is the lead. Absolutely. Um, but so since this just came out, it is in theaters currently. We had to drive thirty five miles, which I believe is around eighty kilometers. Yes, but that means we were going. It took us ninety minutes to get down here. in L A. It could t if that would normally without any traffic would take about, about 30, thirty five minutes, but with traffic about an hour and a half. Yep. Commitment. Yes, uh, but. Uh, I did it because I was like, it's an LJP, LJP film. I have a lot of confidence in him yeah. uh, because he is our dose, and we like everything our dose too. Yeah, you all know. Yeah, that. of course, every single. Uh, but anyway, so this is since it just came out and it is currently in theaters. I'm going to do a little non-spoiler, but the only reason it's a little non-spoiler <laughs> is because it's very, very difficult to talk about this film in non-spoilers, like without giving all of his films. Anything exactly away. like because all of I don't. Films. And there are some Indian reviewers that I've <laughs> noticed in big ones that will literally, in their beginning of the review, tell you the whole story. What do you mean, uh, India? All, all critics do it. Yeah, it's infuriating. Maddening. <laughs> Absolutely maddening. And we, I wish, I don't know why more people don't talk about it. Yeah, in, it's super in, strange. But we will not do that, no. obviously. We don't want to give uh, no. anything away. Let the movie tell the story. Um, but just to let you know, if you like LJP, you're going to like this movie. Yeah. Um, because, Rick, did you like it? The man's a cinematic genius. Uh, so that's basically what you get into. So we're if, gonna we're gonna if you don't if you don't know his films, watch them. This this is a and any one of them is a big jump. There isn't anybody making motion pictures right now anywhere in the world with a higher IQ in cinematic storytelling than this man. Period. Yeah, he full uh, stop. All of his films, this one included, are so unique. And I just, I wonder, where did you come up with that? Seriously. Where in your brain hole did this, this idea come about? And obviously, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. We'll get into that in spoilers. But that's, if you if you like the trailer, if you were intrigued by yeah. the trailer, you're going to be intrigued by the film yep. and, and what conspires. And uh, pay attention to, ev like you do with all of his films, don't just pay attention to every frame of film, but look around every frame of film. Yes, he's a, he's a genius. Yeah. His framings, his choices of what frames to choose and when to put them and what to put right after them and, and the score to put behind it. And just it's it's the IQ of the man. It's like when in, in American football they said the football IQ exactly. of the man yeah. is like a Peyton Manning is exactly. through the roof. Yep. That's what, how he is with cinematic knowledge. And yeah. it's just uh, in, we knew that when we talked to him he was like we it, were talking to a genius. It really is an inevitability in my mind that he's going to become more globally known and is going to have a film that becomes uh that's going to get Globe and Oscar attention for its for its level Obviously, of artistry. We know he was 
the submitted. For yeah, from Jalikatsu, but this one, this he just yeah. This is uh, this is a, and you can't really get into it without giving no. anything away because it, it starts and, almost immediately. And uh, uh, we cannot we can say that in addition to that, Mamudi's pretty much flawless yeah, throughout. We haven't seen a ton of him. I think two or three films. Maybe. Yeah. A phenomenal job. A phenomenal Just a great performance. Job. Yeah, really great job. Um, it's, it, I mean, we've seen two films this year, and both have been really, really good. And really, like, obviously, Kuti versus this one, very different. It's very Malayalam. It's very LGP. No, you know, um, if you, if this film had been made and you couldn't, but if it had a name star here in America, right? Let's say that it was a Tom Hanks in this role, everyone would be talking about his performance. Yeah. I agree. Uh, and this, f- one of the things I love about um, LGP, and we're still in on spoilers, is that he doesn't tell you what he, his films are about. You'll walk o- just like in the, the uh, I don't know the name, but it starts with a I C, know. right? Yeah. And I don't want to say what I call it because that's kind of a spoiler, <laughs> is what I, from what I call right, it. Right, right. Um, and then Jolly Taku, and, but he doesn't tell you. He says, what do you think this film is about? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to confirm your theories uh, either. He's going to be like, he's probably, I almost guarantee he's going to be like, oh yeah, that's interesting. They're, they're really, uh, I, the, the, he's the kind of director that as actors, you marvel and want to talk to him about his approach to everything. Mm-hmm. His screenwriting, his ideas, his his shot setups, his, the, the way he goes about his editing and scoring, and he's also the kind of director that makes you, uh, you... You have to be a very selfless actor to want to work with him because it is his medium and it is his story. And even in a role as meaty as what Mamudi had, mm-hmm. um, you're always going to be playing second fiddle. To he's first chair. Yeah. The, he is the director, it is his film, and you are there to service his film. And it's yeah. one of my favorite things about him. It, makes, it would make me want to work with him as an actor. It's yeah. my goodness. Just show me where I can serve to help whatever vision you've got. Yeah, come out absolutely. Um, and it's uh, if I to kind of finish off the non but go see this film. Obviously, please obviously support that's what, this. Obviously, film. that's what we're saying is if you haven't seen the film, please go see this film. If you thought the trailer was intriguing, if you've liked other LJP films, go see it. You're gonna like it. And I know there's limited screens because it's obviously a very small film, but it's an LJP film. It's it's worth your time. It's like Wolfgang Puck cooking. Uh, Come on, it's it's worth to travel a, a little longer distances than normal. Yeah, uh, to be able to see it on screen, I'm very glad we got to see it on big screen Me and too. big sound. Me too. Because there's a lot of ambient. <laughs> I will get. Into that. It's just so much more. It's always more immersive, and every film you want to enjoy the immersiveness yeah. of it, no matter what. The score, and we'll talk about that. In yeah, the, in the spoilers, spoilers, but it's it's brilliant. Like it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant score. genius. Yeah, film what at what every he level. did with the score, <laughs> yeah. I just don't even know how he came up. I, or I've uh, never I've, seen anybody do that. What he does, the composer is say that say his name right here. Yeah, the composer for the for the um, that's cinematographer. Is there? I got a question. Oh wow! Is there? Is there someone composer? credited for that? Because there may not be. Interesting. That may have been all his choices. And I don't have internet. I just pulled this page up before so I can have all the names here. Uh, before, uh, because we don't have internet, we're just in uh, Rick's car right now. Um, but uh, I'm wondering if the cinematographer is the same one from his other films, because the cinematography in this yeah. is just out of this world. Um, yeah, Thenny Eswar. Very different from like a Jolly Taku. Very but different. Obviously, because that's like a different kind of beauty. This is just genius of creative shots and yeah. hilarious shots and. It, yeah. There were some that were reminiscent of the movie, the title, forgive me, the one with the priest in the, the village with the... the um, Priest in the village? Yeah. And the, the, with the LGP film? Yeah. Oh, uh, is it E.M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one? The, some of the shots were reminiscent of that, and I don't know if that was the cinematographer or just because it's him. Yeah. L- it, if it's, it's it, LGP. It might be, but... But, but anyway. end, end of the non-spoilers, because I can't, once again, I really can't get into this film without getting into spoilers immediately it's impossible because it's just it's an if you if you know lgp that's it's kind of just how his films are it's worth your time unless you just want our our style films which is obviously we love rrr and that style if that's the only style of him you like obviously 
if you maybe if you you probably never seen an LGP film, so why are you here? <laughs> yeah, but if you are a connoisseur of cinema and you love cinema and creative, uh, beautiful art. cinema art, this is art. This is art. Uh, go watch this film, please, and support it. So, um, in Mali Alam industry makes so much, so many films like this, but LGP specifically is so unique. At the end, I just smiled and said. I love LJP. I just because I just do what he does to you while you are watching his films uh, is is absolutely brilliant. So please go watch it. And now we are into spoilers. Go watch the film. Do not continue if you have not seen this film. There's a there's spoilers that will ruin, ruin experience it. Experience so for you. It's your own fault. Please don't do that. God. Um, okay, we're assuming now if you're here, you've seen this film. Okay. I don't know if you've had enough time to digest. What do you think? What do you just, just get in the meat and potatoes before yeah. we get into everything? What do you think happened? Um, well, I have a couple of like things. most of his films. I think it's an allegory. Yeah, 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 of course. And I think it's primarily because most of his films have multiple layers of communication that he's wanting to send you messages about. Mm-hmm. He doesn't ever just have a singular message, though there typically is a singular message. Yeah, but there's it's a bunch of different. It's never left alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, for me, the takeaway of the singular message can be put together in one word, and it's what Andrani said uh, when we were walking to the car to come back over here. She she said the, the word in describing a sentence about the film. It's a film about identity. Mm. And it's a, it's, it's a film about... Um, and it's I find it to be most it will be most appreciated by Indians or people who have a more than cursory understanding of Indian culture mm-hmm. um, because there is a level of consistent expression about identity and empathetic understanding of one another that I can get into deeper about in a second but for, for me that's what that's what the greatest takeaway for mm-hmm. me was it's an allegory about who we are and why we are the way we are and if we really took a minute to stop and examine it with the proverbial walking in someone else's shoes we mm-hmm. would recognize that the things that divide us really shouldn't and if we were more empathetic and loving toward one another, we would recognize. Uh, and I have more to say about that on the Indian side of things, but that's my initial. Thing yeah, but w- I obviously uh, the 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 deeper meanings is there. But what do you think happened? Oh, I think. Do you, do you think it's just an allegory? None of it's real. Oh yeah, I I think. Or, or do you th- what? Like, I think I, I'm the, asking like yeah. obviously he goes to sleep, wakes up a different person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the whole film. I don't know that the film is supposed to be something that took place. Yeah, I think the whole film is an allegory, mm. and I think. Yes, I do think if you're talking about the story, mm-hmm. um, obviously there's the constant metaphor of sleep as death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what the 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 and then the awaking is yeah. a new birth. And the bir- the you know the bus represents them all people who are like minded mm. from the same place, speaking the same language, of the same beliefs, going in the same direction, and one person steps off of that mm-hmm. and walks in another man's shoes not by reason of his own free will but by reason of the fact that he died and awoke but isn't that what spiritual awakening is for somebody Mm -hmm. that you become awakened to something and dead to an old self yeah and there's both the the cycles we go through as people in a singular existence but it's very explicit and this is the indianness of it in terms of i was saying this to andrani one of the most powerful things, I got emotional when the wives and the families looked at each other and put their hands together. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was antagonistic of each other, whether you were Malayali or a Tamilian. Yeah. You didn't like each other. You didn't trust each other. Why are you speaking that language when they're on the bus? He's like, Don't, the driver is Tamilian. And he's like, play something Malayali. And uh, yeah. uh, the, the fact of how is it that a land where so many... Uh, where where there's so much diversity, why has that become a point of divisiveness and and division rather than inclusiveness and empathy, even for the millions who believe in something like reincarnation? If you're Malayali in this life, what if you had previously been Tamilian? Mm. And how would you treat a Tamilian if you had walked into Tamilian's shoes? And how would you treat a Hindu 
if mm -hmm. you walked into Hindu shoes. And what I found beautiful was that the only one who could see <laughs> was, the was, the, was the blind woman. Yeah. She was the only one who could see through everything and just accepted it in the moment. Mm -hmm. And she loved him as her son. And, and I thought it was beautiful when he walked away that that was when, that was when she mourned that mm -hmm. her son was gone. It's just, it's got so much symbolism. Yeah, there's uh, the symbolism behind oh. it is absolutely made. And then I, the, it kind of threw me for a loop almost at the end because I, I had a, obviously I, I picked up on a lot of what you were saying in terms of like the, what the um, overall, because his films have a lot of Christian message. Very much. Obviously I think he's a Christian himself. Uh -huh. and yeah. I think he tries to. Comes it, from what he knows. And it's, it's wonderful. I think that's how, because uh, we call them religious films here uh, in terms of Christian uh, that and that's they're all terrible here uh, oh yeah like, when, you, when they, they, they fall just, under the faith-based faith films, films they're all just just, just absolute garbage yeah because they don't focus on the film they focus on this is a christian message i'm gonna push it oh down yeah your throat. It's, <laughs> they proselytize yeah it's awful it's, it's not just, storytelling it's uh, preaching oh it's garbage. But, but he doesn't garbage. do that no no he's he, very much like mel gibson yeah he's very much like i'm just gonna tell you a film from my own personal much viewpoint. less racist than mel gibson though. well his films <laughs> gibson's <laughs> Gibson's films aren't racist. <laughs> I just wanted to piss yeah. off Rick. Go. Uh, <laughs> but it, 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 yeah. So you were saying your point yeah, no, about no. what you picked um, up on. So I like, obviously, he has all those messages. And then I kind of almost picked up on was he ever actually awake? Oh, Is I this so. entire. No, like, <laughs> I think that you, I think they both can be true at the same time. Is this entire thing almost a dream just on the bus? Because there's multiple oh. things that happened that and, and stuff. And I think one of the reasons why there was in the background score only radio TV. Is that because was that's score. what was playing in the bus. Right. And so that's all he's hearing. Could very the well entire be. entire time. Could very well be. Then, uh, Except also, I, there's a reason I think it's not. And I'll tell you And why. then there's also like instances where he starts to, when he's out and he's going through the village and he's hearing the, the window mm -hmm. that crack it back and forth. And it oh. happened multiple times. In the barber chair. Yeah. When he's seeing in the reflection, it's doing this. It's it's the sound of the, the, the bus. bus. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and so there was multiple instances in that that it led me, I was like, hmm, is it, I think all those, I think, mul oh, that's why he's such a brilliant filmmaker, I think everything Rick said can be absolutely true, and it, he also thrown these kind of, kind of inception yes. style things happening, because it could be just a dream that happened, and all those things could obviously still be true. I think, I think it is. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if he told you that this film was, his dream that people could empathize with mm -hmm. others yeah. and that that is his dream. I, I think there's a tell at the very, very end as to why this is not a dream. Yeah, that threw me for a little loop there at the end, the the theater. Did, did you notice oh. that? Why did they sub that at the at the end? Because it was what was, it was on, on, the, bus. on the bus. They're a troop? Yes. yes. <laughs> that, that. The world's a stage. It was yeah. the Shakespeare reference. That kind of uh, threw the world me for a, a stage. loop. Because they even reference that line when they're waiting outside the bus about the world being and then you, somebody could but, come away and think, was all that an act? Yeah, the final the entire thing. The final tell for me as to why this was not just a dream, but it really did happen. You know what it is for me? Mm. The dog follows the bus. Why does that mean it's not a dream though? Because the dog is following him, who was just in the village taking care of him. Mm -hmm. Why would the dog just come out and randomly follow the bus if that he hadn't been in the village and hadn't been connected to those people and that animal hadn't been connected to him? And when he left, the animal followed him, which we know what the, the communication is about dogs in relationship to God and good people. What about the, the donkeys? None of them came out at the end to follow the bus. <laughs> but what were they? Yeah. Well, no. What was the meaning I, of it was I, donkeys or was it goats? I, no, there was a lot of goats. Goats is what it a was. A lot of goats. What was up with the goats? Uh, no clue. <laughs> I have no idea what that meant other than he was really enjoying throwing goats in the foreground because it was village life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But and so I, that's th what for me the tell was. I, think I don't. I don't. I'm not sure that that totally throws that theory out the window, of of because him just staring out the window at the end. It just gave me a, a vibe of just he's been just been sitting in there. 
He just he woke up and the, he's just been sitting I got there. the other. I got. I think once again, I think all that stuff that you said. Uh, I think yeah, it all and I think been... you could very well be right. And yeah. That's what's beautiful about his films is we could. We, he'll probably tell you you're both right. Yeah. But I saw him looking out the window of a man who's been changed because the man who got on that bus was yeah. prejudiced against Tamilians. Uh. He was very impatient. He was kind of rude to his wife. Not yeah, wasn't yeah. a dick, but he was yeah. just impatient and caught up on stuff. And she's like, chill, eat your food, relax, have a good time. I don't want this drink. He was complaining a lot. And I think him looking off that way, if it was a dream, he was saying, the look on his face was one of, I'm profoundly changed by what just happened to me, which is the point of life and as well it's another message is are you well, just you been... are you just on the road to nowhere and you're not living with intentionality and learning about this experience in life he could have been walking uh, in days he could have been changed by the dream i could mean have been. dreams are pretty big in christianity as could you have as been. you as you know but, um, but why did the dog come out because this is reality you really hung up on that bitch huh or <laughs> did the dog come out because he's still in the dream and life is but a dream and it's just row row your boat wow is the top still spinning Yes. <laughs> this exactly. is exactly that's the dog is the top. <laughs> very much so. Very much so. The dog is very much the top. And the question is is the dog spinning or does it fall over? <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely believe that's the case. Oh my word. Yeah. Uh it, yeah, I think I think one of the biggest tells is why why I think it I think it was a, is a, almost like a dream state for him is because of the background score which is what i know so we talk about in the in the non-spoilers absolutely brilliant what he was able to do whether it was him or whether it was a composer i can't tell who the Just composer the, is the right clips now. of the sound clips from Every, tv and film how you're and obviously there's a whole bunch that we probably missed because obviously oh yeah. some of it wasn't subbed and yep. so you probably had humor there there's probably dialect stuff that we completely out the window right that we don't understand in the slightest um, but the fact that the entire thing was that, yeah, that is a big choice, yeah, to make in a film, yep, is the entire like I've never seen it done There's before, no like that. Or it's just that, um, I've never seen it done before, and so I think that's that's probably my biggest feel of why I think it was a dream. I think all the stuff you said, said once again is true, and he still had he was changed by and all those messaging sure. of what he saw in that dream is absolutely spot on. Um, but there's some other stuff that we want to talk, and you guys can let us know what you think actually happened, uh, obviously, in the film, because this is one that, this is a film that, if you're a film lover, you can you sit can down and about talk about for what you think happened and all that. But, man, his f cinematographer, did it say cinematographer? Yeah, it did list his cinematographer as Denny Eswar. Uh, what what he and uh, LGP did with the framings of, all the, of some of the shots, how man. How about that shot with the two families? Yeah, the two families. The, one, the ones up in the window, and also, they're sitting down. On also, the... the one with the shadow that stayed. Oh, that was a great shot. What do you think the messaging of that was? Yeah, Obviously, where was... he leaves physically, but yeah. his shadow, shadow remains. remains. Yeah, right? Powerful imagery. Um, and then, uh, like, there's some... Uh, what he does with this film in terms of, like, comedy, just with his framing. <laughs> yes. Uh, is brilliant. Like, when, the, when he first takes the motorcycle, and it's just... it's. <laughs> Five different, six different, different frames passageways. of just through the passageways <laughs> of him and the people. Change. Very hilarious. I know. Uh, what, you know what else? The I whole loved? theater was laughing. It was us. We were the only ones up I here. I also loved. He's telling them all the story in the place, and he's standing up, and he's telling them the story, and he's going on and on and on, and they're like, yeah, uh huh. And the guy says, now do your dance, and he does his dance with them. <laughs> he walks out, and the guy looks at everybody and says, who the hell was that guy? <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, there's a, a lot of very, this is, I think, and I think it set it up that way um, at the beginning after it said the, the initial premise of the film of when when you go to sleep, you die, when you wake, you're born again, and, and he, Mahmoudi asked something and he said, oh, that would be a good name for a play. Yeah, and so the movie starts with him waking people up. Yeah, and this is basically, this is shot like a play. Very film. much, yeah. Like you could make, you could take this, put it on Broadway, and, you, you and, could. I mean, obviously, it would probably wouldn't have to work. Be, yeah, very different because it's not yeah, in India. It but work. you could put it on a stage film in India, uh, and I think you could probably do it pretty well, just because it's it's a lot of situational. You need a damn good director. You will. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But um, the, the, it's even though it's extremely complex, it might be one of his more simple films. Absolutely. It's it's which is crazy to say. The messaging is extraordinarily complex and high level and so intelligent, but it is, it is. I would say it's 
It's his simplest complex film. I don't think he can make a simple film. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I don't no. think he can make a film that's just like, oh, here's the yeah. hero. He goes. Oh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm sure we missed a ton. This is a kind of movie when when it was ending and they're leaving and they walk past the house where the woman had been putting the dung on the walls. I thought, I, I could probably watch this movie ten times and I'm going to catch new things every time that I missed last time. Mm -hmm. Messaging that he's done through visual symbolism or something in the sound or something somebody's doing at that moment. I mean, it's just, it's it's richly loaded with so much. And, and it was just absolutely gorgeous as well, like that the the, the scene where he, he's saying the Tamil dialogue and going mm -hmm. back and forth was yeah. brilliant in this. Mahmoodi did a phenomenal job, great, great of, job in this entire thing. I like of of feeling like two different people very subtly. And so did the so did the wives. I felt like they both and it was almost heartbreaking the the when he's having the lunch after he's been to the barber and he's sitting next to his dad and how they've started to come to just, they can't deny that the son and the husband and the dad are back in this guy. And they're kind of at the place of, I think I'd like to accept this because mm -hmm. he's, he's back. back. Yeah, but that's still a Malayalam Mm -hmm. guy and maybe that guy is more like the dad son brother you have if you simply got to walk in his shoes too mm -hmm. it's beautiful yeah a lot beautiful. of uh just still frames keeping <laughs> there was one shot mamudi i mean not mamudi lgp it was after something that happened in the village, and it went back to the bus. And everybody was standing in such a oh, like, such a pose, spectacular. It was at, it was almost like it was like a painting in like oh. uh, the Louvre or something like that. Especially the one guy in the down camera right, with his arms on his hips, just looking up to the sky. <laughs> and everyone was still. But what was great is they held it for just a few seconds. And then slowly came out of it. It was, mm -hmm. oh. and there was a lot of that style in the film, and I really, really enjoyed that. This is, this is a film you could talk about for hours of, of what you think happened, and and it's all the brilliance of LJP. He's a it's genius. A, he's filmmaker. an absolutely yeah. genius, and 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 the, obviously the lovely performance by Mamudi as well. Beautiful. Um, so you should be proud of this film. Let us know what if you've seen the film. Obviously, I hope you're still not By here. By this point, if you haven't seen the film, but if you have seen the film, let us know what you thought about the film. Let us know your theories uh, and what you think is happening. Obviously, uh, if you're here still, I'm assuming you've seen the film, so I can't say don't look at the comments if you haven't seen the film. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, let us know what you think uh, actually happened in the film. Let us know what you thought about the film and uh, what should be our next LJP film. Yeah, where does it stand for you in his films as far as your favorites? It's difficult, yeah, isn't it? because it's, hard. it's probably between this one and the uh, the shoot. It starts with a C. The one we, the last one we watched. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's probably between those two. This may be my favorite. Uh, it's that, hard to say because it's, rec may, it's yeah, recently I gotta let biased. It sit with me for a while. This is one that I feel like I could understand the most, just because it's. I don't know, it might be his most simple and. Uh, he's probably too smart for me a lot of times. And it, it differentiates for me, whereas, like, Jolly Katsu had a payoff for me in the end that was so freaking big. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ending of Jolly Katsu for me was like, damn, that's what this is all about. You know what I mean? This, I, I got an inkling of what I thought it was about much, much earlier mm -hmm. on than in any of his films. And in, in that regard, it made it uh, even more fun to watch it unfold because I got a sense of what was going on with everybody sleeping the identity, the blind grandma. Mm -hmm. So it, it being on the ride early on and not just catching it at the end. So anyway. Let us know what you thought about this film uh, down below. And Johnny, what did you think about the film? I loved it. <laughs>